Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to access the cookies from a web browser and how, how we can clear those cookies and how to validate um, uh, those cookies uh, in application. Uh, we will see. Okay, so there are um, uh, multiple commands uh, to access the cookies here. So CY that get all cookies will return all the cookies that are present in the uh, browser, uh, not only for uh, uh, logged in website. So it will give all the cookies for all the websites that are saved uh, uh, in the cookies. So uh, the second one is get cookie. So whenever we are getting a cookie, uh, if you uh, pass uh, as a parameter some cookie name, then you will get um, uh, that cookie. And the third one is um, uh, cy dot get cookies. So cy dot get cookies will return uh, the cookies that are uh, related to currently logged in uh, uh, web browser URL. And at the same time, we are having a um, uh, cy dot um, uh, clear cookie also. So we will see what is the usage of uh, cy dot clear cookie uh, uh, as well. Okay. So, and in our, uh, if you see uh, our application and if you inspect it after login to the uh, application and if you go to uh, application uh, in um, uh, developer tools, there you will see the cookies uh, uh, tab here and then you can see here uh, there are multiple uh, uh, website. Uh, here so this is our current URL and there you can see uh, the cookie is uh, uh, it has one cookie uh, with the name orange HRM and it is having um, uh, some value okay so we'll see how to read this cookie and um, yeah so here we are having another cookie but uh, uh, if you log into the application uh, we don't get this cookie this is a separate cookie uh, we are having only one cookie in our application so let's see how we can get uh, uh, these cookies in our uh, code okay so for that um, uh, i'm going to create another spec file cookies dot uh, cy dot um, js file describe explode cookies and then I'm um, using a uh, uh, before each uh, lifecycle hook to log into our application cy.login where I am I need to pass the username and password as parameters okay after that um, let's see uh, how we can um, validate these cookies how we can get these cookies okay um, verify cookies okay so after logging in um, if you see as, as we have seen there are multiple methods uh, uh, to get the cookies if I use cy dot um, get all cookies we no need to pass any parameter okay it will return all the cookies that are present in the browser and um, so in our application we are having only one cookie so if you uh, log out um, to this application and if you log in back uh, you will see only one cookies okay so yeah see see if you see that um, uh, the youtube uh, cookie got uh, cleared and we will be having only one cookie See that, that that's got refreshed and uh, not sure why we are getting this cookie YouTube uh, from where we are getting but uh, basically we are having only one cookie um, uh, that is this one okay um, yeah. and let's continue uh, it should have a length of uh, one 
say suppose if you get uh, multiple cookies uh, after we log in uh, our test case uh, should fail here then uh, we'll get all the cookies here um, then it will return a cookies there what we can expect is uh, we can uh, uh, do some assertion on that cookie so as it will return multiple cookies if there are any uh, we can take the first cookie uh, as it is an array and then uh, we can verify uh, whether it is having a, a property uh, of name um, orange hrm or G -E -H -R -M. that is the cookie that we saw in the browser right so we can verify that one whether um, we are having that cookie or not and in the second scenario uh, the second case is like um, instead of getting all cookies we can use uh, cy.get cookie and then um, we can get the cookie uh, based, uh, based on the name okay and what it should be there is uh, what we can check is uh, it should exist and then um, we can assertion we can do some assertions uh, like uh, and it should have a property it should have a property of name orange hrm okay this is one way of uh, getting the cookie and the third one is uh, uh, get uh, the cookie related to uh, the current um, uh, website that is get um, uh, cookies and it is also the same uh, as we are having only one cookie uh, it will return only uh, that cookie uh, if there are multiple then uh, we will get an array and uh, we can verify the same thing uh, uh, here also okay so let's see whether um, uh, we will get this cookie uh, cookies properly or not okay let's verify it i am saving the file I'm going to a uh, test runner and then if you navigate to cookies.cy.js and click on it i am trying to log into application and then if you see here um, when i get get all cookies we got only one cookie there uh, but uh, uh, when we saw in the website uh, it is showing uh, two but uh, uh, i'm not sure somehow uh, it is misleading here uh, in our test runner uh, we got only uh, one cookie and um, after that when you get a cookie uh, based on the name also the uh, it uh, the assertion get passed so we can use uh, uh, other scenario get cookies that is also uh, that assertion also get passed so in this way we can get um, uh, cookies and validate the cookies um, for the application and um, uh, in the other scenario like um, we can clear the cookies and see whether uh, uh, whether we are able to uh, remove the cookies from the browser or not so for that uh, uh, there is a method clear cookie or uh, you can use clear cookies also but i wanted to clear only here um, uh, this cookie so i am using a uh, uh, clear cookie if you wanted to delete all the cookies uh, you can clear all the cookies also so after uh, uh, deleting the cookie and if i try to get um, uh, cookies for uh, this website it should return the uh, empty uh, array so it should have a length of uh, zero okay so in this way we can clear the cookies and verify whether the cookies are, are getting cleared or not so i'm i'm saving the file and if you go to test runner logging into the application and see here i have cleared the cookies and then uh, when i uh, when i do the assertion so so i'm not getting any cookies here okay, in this way you can uh, uh, validate um, uh, cookies uh, from a uh, web application thank you